Detroit sports. Come on, come on, come on. It's showtime. 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 Lewis Hamilton. Tune in weekdays from 7 a.m. and 6.15 p.m. for Sports Extra on The Beat 99.9 FM. Let the show begin. Mercedes, the world champions, come here on a first. Cristiano Ronaldo with a good What a point. <laughs> Sports Extra on The Beat 99.9 FM. Absolutely outstanding. Hello, good morning. Welcome Sports Extra on the Beat 99.9 FM Port Hackett. Sammy Wojnia here with the weekend's big sports stories in the company of the CEO of Results Sports, Mario Leo, who joins us from Germany. Hi, Mario. Good morning, Port Harcourt, and uh, good morning, Sammy. It's good to be on the show this morning. Absolutely brilliant. Mario, let's sink our teeth into the big stories right now. We'll start with golf, where Rory McIlroy saved the best for last to defend his Canadian Open title yesterday. And he could not resist a sly dig at the Leave Golf Chief Executive Greg Norman afterwards. At the end of a chaotic week for the sport, with a controversial Saudi-backed leave golf invitational series commencing in a competition with the PGA Tour, McElroy posted his best round of the tournament at St. George's with an 8 under 62. Mario, like I said, uh, extremely difficult week for golf with uh, the leave championship seemingly going toe-to-toe head-on with the PGA Tour and uh, McElroy coming up trumps in Canada. Your thoughts on a pretty enthralling week in the golfing world? Yeah, I mean, it's it's an it's an interesting one because obviously it has been very controversially discussed last week. Um, and, and obviously now the tournament happened. And when you see now the winner of the Leaf tournament or the Leaf trophy in Saudi Arabia won in a single tournament 4.5 million US dollars as his sort of prize money. Um, he's won overall in the four years playing at PGA four and a half billion. So at one tournament uh, in, in in four days, he managed to get as much uh, prize money as he did four years on the PGA. And I think um, that sort of lures the players in between. Um, and it's it's coming to the human kind of moral issues. Yeah, do we follow the money trail or do we follow? The, the tournament style which we signed up with and I think that's the biggest challenge the PGA has done and PGA has, has been a monopoly for, for quite some time and I think obviously with such a global tournament and such a global TV and streaming audience it leads to competition and sometimes competition can be flourishing the game um, at this moment in time it's much more a controversial them or, or us um, and, and, that's, and that's an issue for golf and will stay with us for the next uh, coming months Let's discuss F1 now as we uh, move to Baku, Azerbaijan, a city Mario knows so well that uh, this time we're not talking football but F1 because Max Verstappen strengthening his grip on the Formula One World Championship as Charles Leclerc and Ferrari endured yet another nightmare, this time at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Leclerc had claimed his fourth successive pole position at the street circuit in Baku, but... He was passed into the first corner by Monaco winner Sergio Checo Perez. Perez struggled to press home his advantage though and eventually ceded the lap to Max Verstappen on lap 15. Leclerc had dived into the pits under the virtual safety car after his Ferrari teammate Carlos Sainz retired due to a hydraulics issue and appeared to be well placed to challenge Verstappen only for an engine failure on lap 20 to hand victory to his Red Bull rival who led a 1-2 ahead of Perez and Mercedes' George Russell. 
Mario, so much to talk about as far as the race is concerned. Uh, obviously, a one-two finish for the Red Bulls and uh, yet another nightmare for the Italians, the Ferraris, and uh, some very useful points on the board given the circumstances for Mercedes. And it looked like it came at some physical cost for the seven-time world champion, Sir Lewis Hamilton. So much to talk about as far as uh, F1 is concerned from the weekend, Mario. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Sammy. And, and it was a great red race to watch. I, I love the Baku Grand Prix because obviously it has these very, very narrow corners, um, which are exceptional actually to the F1 because usually a, a racetrack has to be 12 meter wide uh, or 12.5 meter wide. And Baku at the, at, the, at the nearest corner is only seven meters wide. So um, I, I watched the F2 racing as well, and there was like crashes all over, which made it even more exciting. Um, but the F1 uh, racing drivers have done exceptional, and, and you're right. I mean, lots to talk about, lots of issues, um, lots of challenges. And I think at this moment in time, yeah, with, with the investments into the cars, with the modifications, uh, Red Bull seems to have the perfect package um, to be consistent, running 50, 60, 70 um, rounds um, and, and, uh, in the race. And, and uh, the Ferrari modifications have led to a stronger engine but less consistency in the race duration okay let's turn our attention now to basketball uh, uh, shall we mario because steve kerr singled out the drive to improve as fuel for his superstar steph curry to lift the golden state warriors ahead of tonight's game five matchup with the boston celtics in the nba finals curry was at his transformative best in Game 4 on Friday night as the Warriors evened up the series up with a 107-97 to win, scoring 43 points on 14 of 26 shooting along with 10 rebounds and 4 assists. Surely, Mario, apart from Sammy Wajin, I don't know who else can do it better than Steph Kerr. I only know Sammy Vegeta being in that, <laughs> fitting in that shoes, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, he's, we discussed it last week and saying, will Steph Curry make make my game four? And obviously he's done so and, and he's done exceptional. And, and he's a, he's the difference of, of this series. Yeah, If, if he's on the, on the court and, and he plays in his, in his style and his first ball sink in, He's just like a, a robot uh, and, and out of this world. So it's exceptional. And I think the Golden State Warriors will take it tonight as well uh, and will take the series lead 3 2. Brilliant. Uh, we'll be talking more about that when the Godfathers of Sport converge at 4.30 p.m. today as we now talk about tennis and the beautiful Brazilian, Beatrice Haddad Maia. She won her first ever WTA Tour singles title yesterday with an impressive 6 4 one six six three win against Alison Risk at the Nottingham Open. A back and forth contest ultimately turned in the Brazilian's favor as she recovered from a dominant second set from her American opponent to claim the decider and the trophy. Had Admire made a strong start and took the first set 6-4 and winning 90% of points on her first set. Uh, surely she has to be one of the favorites at the All England Tennis and Crockett Club when Wimbledon gets underway in a couple of weeks' time. Mario has got all the lowdown for that, but just before Mario talks about his thoughts on Wimbledon, Matteo Berrettini, he secured his sit ATP Tour title with a 6-4, 5-7, success over Andy Murray at the Stuttgart Open. Berrettini playing in his first tournament since injury raced out the blocks to break Murray in just his second service game before the Scott failed to capitalize on four break points in the following game. Uh, Mario had breaking from Murray's perspective hasn't won an ATP World Tour title in quite a while. We thought it was going to happen. He had to call in the trainer in the third set uh, lose opening game in that particular decider and um, it's not exactly looking too good for him at, ahead of the start of Wimbledon, is it? I I think he will recover. Obviously, he, he had a, this this kind of controversial match versus uh, City Pass um, in the semi-finals on Saturday, and I think he struggled uh, with the little recovery time he had. Yeah, playing Saturday a reset match, playing Sunday um, a match going going all three sets. Uh, I think that sort of stretches Murray's fitness. Um, and, and obviously, I think those those kind of things 
while building and leading up to Wimbledon is, is something that the player routine. So yes, they need match practice, That's it. but they, they still not yet at full match fitness. Yeah, because obviously Wimbledon is their highlight and it's just like the Formula One. Yeah, the, 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 the first training session, the second training session. So are these pre-built tournaments. Obviously, for tennis players, yeah, these pre-built tournaments, they are highly rewarded because they earn quite good money in these build-up moments. Um, but I think uh, we will we will see some very good action from Andy Murray at, at the come, upcoming remote tournament. Uh, uh, Mario, let's talk some boxing now because Tyson Fury has refuted reports that he's in talks to fight the winner of the rematch between Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua. Fury has persistently stated that he is retiring following his win in April over Dylan White, which saw him retain the WBC heavyweight title of the world. Let, uh, two issues to uh, take a look at uh, this morning, Mario. Uh, AJ against Usyk. How is AJ looking ahead of the rematch? Do you expect him uh, to do an Andy Ruiz Jr.? get a pound of flesh after an unpredictable defeat first time out and do you really believe that Tyson Fury has called time on his boxing career? I start with with uh, with, with Fury and, and I think no I don't but but obviously just I mean he's just won in April um, this this major fight and obviously you ask him two months later to come out of retirement I think that's far too early because mentally he made these announcements to media, to everybody, to his surroundings, to family and friends. So obviously it's it's depending obviously the, the, the prize money again because obviously I believe in boxing yeah, for the boxers overall, they will return if, if the prize money is right and, and go for a fight because it's again for them just a fight. Um, and, and I think he will come but I think it will take another 12 to 18 months uh, for his official return um, to then the best of the best heavyweight fight. Um, and AJ, I think it's, yeah, I mean, you, you know my stance on, on boxing. I mean, some of those, they have very, they talk a lot. They like, they have no action um, in the ring and, and talk a lot um, to media. So they their mouth is bigger than their performance. And I think some of them should be really sort of having a balance between their self-confidence and their and their ring performance <laughs> interesting right, let's talk about the nigeria professional football league uh, shall we mario because it's just five more match days before the end of the current season rivers united in fine fettle to claim their very first title as rivers united obviously they are 10 points clear after a hard fought come from behind 2-1 victory over Abia Warriors, Plachi United, uh, they didn't have the best of results at the Le Consalami. Let's quickly run through the results uh, right now, shall we, Mario? Enyimba International firmly back in the race for the continental places. They won 3 0 against Quara United. Aqua United, the outgoing champions, were 1 uh, 0 victors over Remo Stars. Gombe United drew 2 2 against the Dakada FC Club. Kano Pillars drew 1 1 against Wiki Toys and Katina United beat MFM FC by two goals to one. It was Lobby Stars winning by two goals to one against Hatland FC and Nasara United 1-0 victors over the Enugu Rangers Club. Rivers United, like I mentioned earlier, came from behind to win 2-1 at the Amiesi Maka against Abia Warriors and Shooting Stars. Now they put smiles on the faces of every fan of Rivers United winning 2-1 against Plachi United at the Lake on Salami. It was Shooting Stars beating Niger Tornadoes by the odd goal in three. Surely, Mario, it is done and dusted as regards the destination of the MPFL title this time. I've booked my flight tickets to see Charles Anasoto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mario, can you hear me? Uh, uh, in the okay. studio, so... so uh, yeah, I Mar think Mario, I, th I think uh, we'll, I think we'll have to have a, a special show on that day with the videos uh, uh, wait, wait, going wait all across the world. Be, yeah, to be there in one second. Mm. Mario, can you hear me? I I, I agree. I'm I, yes, I can. Me here. I should be back. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll get back to Mario very shortly. But he was saying something about booking his uh, flights to Nigeria to. Uh, have a look at the man we love to refer to as the Ikemba of the chamber, Charles Anazodo, who has 
uh, promised to strip to his uh, underpants if Rivers United win the title. And obviously that is going to happen. Now, if you do love uh, World Cup playoffs uh, between intercontinental teams tonight, you're going to have a treat. Uh, it's Australia against Peru. That should be special. And in the, the UEFA Nations League, it is Denmark against Austria. France yet to buy a win in the competition. Can you believe it? Uh, they are up against Croatia. A repeat of the World Cup finals from uh, 2018. Iceland against Israel. Kazakhstan against Slovakia, Azerbaijan taking on Belarus and in the Africa Cup of Nations qualifying, the Super Eagles of Nigeria will take on Sao Tome and Principe. That game is going to be played in Morocco uh, from 2 in the afternoon today. Sierra Leone take on Guinea-Bissau three hours after Nigeria's kickoff. That's uh, around 5 in the evening. It's Liberia against Morocco and in the Nations League yesterday, Spain beat the Czech Republic by two goals to nil. It was Switzerland beating Portugal by a goal to nil. Quite strange because it was quite lopsided exactly a week ago when Portugal were scoring goals for fun against the same opposition. Couldn't exactly repeat the trick yesterday. Norway drew, uh, beat Sweden by three goals to two. Erling brought Holland amongst the goals. And that will take me back to Mario. Uh, what a player Manchester City have got in their hands. And... If you don't mind, tell us a little bit about uh, Darwin Nunes. Uh, I hear his medical coming up uh, sometime today. And Liverpool about to complete a record signing for a player who has done great things in Portugal with the Benfica club, Mario. Yeah, apologies first for, for my connection issues. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I was just completing sort of saying that uh, Charles Anasodo is, is sort of my fellow godfather and I look forward to see him in the studio so I, I would certainly book my flights today uh, or in the coming days um, mm. and yeah so Erling Haaland goal scoring machine has proven it at Borussia Dortmund I think overall it's been 88 games and 84 goals um, goal scoring records for Norway is, is going at the same tally and I, I can't wait to see him at Manchester City and Pep Guardiola's rotation formation um, and scoring goals in the Premier League, and I'm sure at his first appearance, um, he will he will be there. He will be ready and score right away from from the beginning to capture the the Man City um, audience. And and obviously the others have to strength. Yeah, the other teams have to strength. Um, I see Man United uh, being in the media across every single player, but so far obviously <laughs> they only share they share well a lot of. Uh, a lot of their stars and I'm not sure their reinforcements they wish are coming uh, unless they're building the 2000 uh, sorry the 2020 2021 Ajax team again they're buying every single Ajax player of that glory <laughs> Champions League season three years ago uh, which, er which Eric Ten Hag then proves to be winning formula for Man United um, and Liverpool uh, yeah, is, is, is preparing because obviously they seem to have a little bit unsettlement in their squad um, and Daniel Nunes is an outstanding player and, and a great addition to an outstanding strike force. But let's see how many of them are staying at the end to start the season with. Brilliant stuff, uh, Mario, like we always do. We always uh, give the Godfathers the opportunity to talk about that one big story, which they would have loved us to talk about, which, uh, no thanks to time constraints, we didn't sink our teeth into today. What would that be for you, Mario? I, I honestly... I think we, we've, we've captured it all and obviously the Nigerians are not so interested in ice hockey besides obviously the NBA series ending and finding their champion the NHL is, is looking for their champion and it's just a cracking uh, game between Tampa Bay and the New York Rangers ongoing I mean in their last match um, obviously they've they it was 2-1 it was a close encounter and after the match, every single player on the ice was fighting his opponent. And it was just like a big a big wrestling match um, after the match because let's see how tense. I, I, keep, wa I keep wondering, I Mario, is that is that part of it in ice hockey? I have never seen an ice hockey match without punches being thrown. Is that part of the tactics? It's not part of the tactics. It's, it's part of the game because obviously you've got so much adrenaline. It's the fastest uh, team sport in the world. Because obviously you have one goalie, two defenders, three strikers. Everything is automated in practice. No, and you, um, did, you and didn't mention you didn't mention something, Mario. And apart from the strikers and everything you mentioned, they also have a boxing trainer. Semi Vagina. 
Absolutely. He's the man going around the NHL and get everybody fit and, and excited. And maybe we will see out of the NHL the next w, uh, WBO champion. Uh, because they have all this, they have all the ingredients. You say, you say so, Mario. Uh, Chief Executive Officer of Results Sports, Mario Leo. Always an absolute delight having you on the show. No difference today. Thank you so much, Mario. Thank you so much for having me. And wish everybody in Port Harcourt a wonderful day and uh, stay healthy, stay safe, and look forward to our Godfather session later. Brilliant stuff. Uh, for those who don't know, that's uh, the best sports show this side of the world on radio. 4.30 p.m. today, uh, you can catch us across the Megaletrics network. My name is Sami Wejia. You can uh, hit me up on Twitter at Oga Sami Wejia. Let's continue the conversation on socials until we come your way uh, later today. Have yourselves a wonderful day.